Conditions of Bayat and Responsibilities of an Ahmadi. Conditions of Bayat and Responsibilities of an Ahmadi is an English rendering of the addresses delivered by Hadrat Mirza Masroor Ahmad, the present head of the worldwide Ahmadi Muslim community in 2003, explaining the ten conditions of Bayat, the pledge of initiation. Anyone who joins the Jamaat of the Promised Messiah, on whom be peace, pledges to abide by these conditions. It is therefore essential for the followers of the Promised Messiah, on whom be peace, to fully understand the spirit of these conditions and to strive to follow them. The author refers to the aims and objectives of Bayat in the words of the Promised Messiah, on whom be peace, as follows, and I quote, this system of Bayat has been established solely to gather a group of righteous people in a Jamaat so that a weighty group of righteous people should make a holy impact on the world. The unity of these righteous people should be a source of blessings, grandeur and positive results for Islam. Briefly, the ten conditions of Bayat are Number one, one shall solemnly promise that he shall abstain from associating any partner with God right up to his death. Number two, one shall keep away from falsehood, adultery, trespasses of the eye, wickedness and immorality, dissipation, cruelty, dishonesty, mischief and rebellion, and will not permit to be carried away by passions, however strong they might be. Number three, one shall regularly offer the five daily prayers in accordance with the commandments of God and the Holy Prophet, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, that he shall make it his daily routine to ask forgiveness for his sins, to remember the bounties of God, and to praise and glorify him. Number four, under the impulse of any passions, one shall cause no harm whatsoever to the creatures of God in general, and Muslims in particular, neither by his tongue, hands, nor any other means. Number five, one shall remain faithful to God in all circumstances of life, in sorrow and in happiness, in adversity and in prosperity, in felicity and in trial, and that he shall in all conditions remain resigned to the decree of God and keep oneself ready to face all kinds of indignities and sufferings in his way, and shall never turn away from him at the onslaught of any misfortune. On the contrary, he shall march forward. Number six. One shall refrain from following un-Islamic customs and lustful inclinations, and shall completely submit himself to the authority of the Holy Quran, and that he shall make the word of God, and the sayings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, his guiding principles in every walk of his life. Number seven, one shall entirely give up pride and vanity, and shall pass all his life in humbleness, cheerfulness, forbearance and meekness. Number eight, one shall hold faith, the honor of faith, and the cause of Islam dearer than his life, wealth, honor, children, and all loved ones. Number nine, one shall keep himself occupied in the service of God's creatures for his sake only, and shall endeavor towards the beneficence of mankind to the best of his God-given abilities and powers. Number 10, one shall enter into a bond of brotherhood and pledge his allegiance to Khalifa al masih the successor of the promised Messiah on whom be peace, in everything good for the sake of God, and remain faithful to it until the day of his death. One shall exert such a high devotion in the observance of this bond as is not to be found in any other worldly relationship and connection that demand devoted dutifulness. These conditions beautifully capture the essence of Islam and set forth a sublime code of conduct for millions of Amri Muslims today. These conditions beyond doubt present a code of life for all humanity, if we truly aspire to achieve peace and harmony in our society. <laughs>